Hi, I'm Patu from Free FinCal and this week let's take a look at Axis Multi-Cap Fund. So this fund is uh, just under two years old. It'll be two years old next week. Uh, but uh, before that it has uh, gathered about uh, almost uh, 5,000 crores, 4,850 crores. 2,000 of the uh, of that came right at the NFO stage. Uh, that's because of uh, the Axis Bank connection. They have this strong uh, banking channel to, to sell mutual funds in. So this is a multi-cap mutual fund. And uh, according to SEBI regulations, there is no restriction for a multi-cap mutual fund in terms of market cap as well as sector. So it can invest across large mid-cap and small cap mutual funds. But uh, uh, in its scheme leaflet and presentation, it says that it will be a 50% to 100% large cap fund and the rest in mid and small caps. But it does not say that in the scheme document. And this is something that SEBI should uh, uh, should check because these mutual funds are saying things about their investment philosophy and investment strategy in the leaflet and presentation but those wordings are not present in the scheme document which is the only legally binding uh, document so this thing has to be curbed uh, uh, among other things the more you learn about uh, mutual funds the more uh, sick and repulsive the mutual fund industry gets so this is the market cap history you can see since inception it has uh, uh, largely been a large cap tilted fund in each it started with some mid cap allocation but uh, when the mid cap indices started falling it uh, very intelligently kept the bond allocation high and uh, increased the large cap allocation so um, I, the same fund manager is also managing um, access blue chip as well as Axis Midcap, if I'm not wrong, I, uh, please check the article. I don't remember the fund manager's name. I'm so bad with names. I'm sorry. Uh, this is something. So the the timing of the launch helped the fund manager to uh, you know allocate as, uh, his, uh, assets uh, uh, intelligently. That's one factor, I think. Of course, he's. Uh, I mean, uh, intelligent sector selection is also important. I talked about that. There's a graph there. He would have uh, removed. Uh, uh, financial services stocks uh, and uh, automobile sec uh, stocks at the right time so that the fund can uh, fund uh, mood up and bet the benchmark comfortably so this is what i was talking about um, this uh, philosophy error is a, is a screenshot from the it's a screenshot by it's a error by the by the mutual fund this is a screenshot from the leaflet and they say they will pick uh, stocks which have got the potential to grow better than the benchmark that is stocks which have got good uh, you know earnings potentials and so on and they also talk about inflection point they look for stocks which are at an inflection point businesses which are at an inflection point and uh, this kind of uh, uh, description is not present in the scheme document that which is unfortunate and with respect to inflection point they say they look for businesses which uh, have seen an increase in uh, market share and, and uh, increase in competitive advantage and where uh, many industries have, there is a merger, stocks that have seen mergers or industries that have seen mergers and uh, new industries which are capable of dis uh, disruptive uh, profits and uh, change in management, focus on cap, uh, fo uh, fo uh, I mean, what they are focusing on and how much they are allocating capital to and regulatory and policy changes which are favorable to certain businesses. These they call as the inflection point. The inflection point means a point in a curve where it's about to change direction. So the curve which is going like that, goes through an inflection point and then moves like that. If you remember your 12, 12 standard uh, calculus, you'll probably remember what an inflection point is. This is the growth in AUM and this is something that I'm a little worried about because uh, associated with a bank, any bank associated with a mutual fund has this problem of surge in AUM. They will start recklessly pushing funds. And they will say multi-cap fund, a fund manager can allocate large cap, mid cap according to market conditions. You can use it at any time and so on. They'll push all sorts of things. And you can see the uh, AUM is going up steadily. And so, of course, it's about 5,000 crores. It, uh, until about 15,000 crores, 20,000 crores, it's still manageable. Uh, performance will not affect be affected too much if there's a sudden in, uh, uh, influx. But about the, after that, it may be a little bit of a problem. Not the size per se, but the increase, sudden increase in uh, a1. So this is the direct uh, and regular plan split in A1 in terms of lakhs uh, average, uh, the quarterly average, July September 2019 quarterly average. You can notice that only about very small amount, only about seven percent is in direct plans, and the direct plan uh, growth and the regular plan dividend are comparable in A1. 
it's the typical of distributors they'll push uh, when the investor says uh, i don't want this fund they will say you choose the dividend plan at least you will get dividends and they will push the dividend plan uh, recklessly so of course most of it is in the regular growth and that's of course the uh, return comparison is not much of a history so talking about performance does not matter it has comfortably bet nifty 50 and nifty 500 uh, since inception uh notice also the huge difference since inception almost 2 years there's a nearly 2% difference in returns between the direct plan and regular plan because of the huge commissions that they are offering so that's that's the reason why they are pushing it so much that's a problem so finally uh if you are looking for a multi cap fund most people will not be but if you are a new investor who wants a multi cap fund this is a you can take a chance with this If you're already holding it, there's no problem. But uh, if you want benefit from this fund, I think you should hold more of the fund. Then only you'll benefit from it. And uh, if you're looking to restructure your portfolio and uh, have a new multi-cap fund in your portfolio, then you can consider this fund. But please be aware of the risks. There's a possibility of increase in mid and small caps uh, depending on market conditions. So the risk will increase. There will be. There, uh, it seems to be there is too much dependence on the fund manager. uh that's always a problem like what happens with tata mutual fund when uh, sn lahiri uh, uh put in his papers and everybody starts panicking oh what should i do should i quit and so on we will talk about that later uh there could be a future increase in expense ratio of the re- direct plan as of now it's very comfortable it's like 0.56 or nearly 0.6% that's a very good uh, year tr there could be a sudden influx in aum and that can affect performance so these are the risk factors but Uh, of the fund, but other than that, <laughs> other than that, uh, it's you can. I mean, you can take a chance. So that's what I wanted to say. Catch you again later. Bye.